Apple is making a car. Just take my finger and slide it across. And it could perfectly sync with your iCloud. The idea here is that you can just get in the car, say your location, and be driven there with little or no engagement. They're planning to start production on this in 2024. For years now, companies have wanted to turn your phone into your car and your car into your phone. But can smartphone makers who make a small device in the palm of your hand actually make a car? To answer this question, we need not go to Silicon Valley where Apple and Google are working on this, but we need to go to China, where at a recent auto show in Shanghai, the biggest showcases weren't actually car makers, but tech companies. When it came to smartphones, China had to play catch up. For years, smartphone makers like Blackberry, Nokia, Samsung, and Apple were in the lead. But today, the biggest smartphone makers are not only Apple and Samsung, but Huawei and Xiaomi. Two of them are Chinese. And now the future of driving is sort of facing off between big tech and big auto. Cars will become less about auto parts and more about different tech components. Think less about an engine and more about chips and sensors. First, there is Baidu. Think of it as the Google of China. I visited their campus years ago and even rode in one of their self-driving cars. Baidu is super ahead of the curve and already has self-driving buses, not just in China, but in Japan too. Baidu has been investing in robo-taxis since as far back as 2013 and is spending $7 billion in the coming years. Do you know how many internet searches it takes to reach the revenue of $7 billion? Yeah, a lot. Then there is Huawei. Huawei has become one of the world's largest tech companies, but if you're in the US, you've probably never even touched one of their products. The US government won't let Huawei operate in America because it's afraid that it's tied to the Chinese government. But Huawei is spending a billion dollars this year on self-driving cars. And it's not just Huawei and Baidu, there's also Xiaomi, Tencent, Alibaba that are all working on creating the vehicle of the future. I said earlier that China had to play catch up when it came to smartphone devices. But when it comes to the future of the car, it's actually more ahead than anywhere else. So will China be the dominant car maker of the future? Let me know in the comments. While you're at it, subscribe to my channel, check out more of my videos about tech, and find me on Instagram and TikTok at Upton. Thank you.